Here's uh, where you you have it. Call in now, and you're going to win this. Uh, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. We have a game show for you. And if you noticed the with the prizes, they seem to fall into a kind of a science fiction background. Space. Space. Final Frontier, right? That's exactly. See, Star Trek, signed by Alfred Woodard. You can win that. Right. But the reason is because the name of this game is May the Force Be With You. Horses, nothing but horses. One has a fake name, the other is real. They'll race. Around a long track, but one could be lying, just trust me on that. Choose between the real and fake horse names to pick out the frogs. But remember, may the horse be with you. Now see, I even said it wrong, and I have a staff that's afraid to correct me. The name of the game is actually, may the horse be with you. Nothing but horses One has a fake name The other is real They'll race Around a long track But one could be lying Just trust me on that Choose between the real and fake horse names To pick out the frogs But remember May the horse be with you May the horse be with you and yes, you heard our celebrity game show host. It's Obi Wan Kenobi. Yes, thanks. Thank you for having me in the studio today. Uh, how is this going to work, Obi Wan? Well, you see, in my time uh, since I was murdered ruthlessly mm-hmm. by Darth Vader, I've become a horse trader of mm-hmm. sorts. Uh, not in the Triple Crown type events, but you know, there's lower. Lower leagues. Let me ask you this. Were you murdered by Darth Vader or was that suicide? I don't see what was the gain by I'm going to put my hands up here and, and die. How's he going to help Luke when he's dead, dude? Um, because I, he was Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. He came back as Space Ghost. I had bad show. space arthritis. Uh, so tell us again how the game works. We will give you a real or a fake horse name and you tell us if it is valid or not. Now, if it is a fake name... Obi-Wan, are you going to use the impression the whole time, or is it going to go in and out like it's been doing right now? What impression are you talking about, Ron? <laughs> right, now you now you just did Ringo Starr. There's no... With using the Force, there's no end to what you can imagine. John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Ringo! All right, already people are tweeting in that you sound like a member of the Beatles, one after another. They are a great group there. (laughs) They play them all the time at the track over the loudspeakers. It calms the horses. Okay, so what songs they play, by the way? Oh, you know, uh, Hard Days, Horse... We we uh we, it's not even it's not even witty, huh? They just push horse <laughs> in even if it doesn't belong there. The horses When you put in something like, Hey, you've got to hide your love away. I haven't heard that one. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. <laughs> Alright, so explain the game again, Obi Wan. If it is a real horse name, you say, Well that's a horse, of course. Mm-hmm. But if we give you a fake horse name, you say, Well, sir, that's a faux filly. <laughs> But this is fucking seriously the most embarrassing thing I've been involved in. And that includes Fez turning down tongue and balls yesterday. And I'm going to say from a very attractive young man. Fez would have got him some right there. Yeah. Luis Gomez, attractive young man, Fez. Um, I was disappointed he was not on last night's last comic standing. I was right, watching so- with my droids. <laughs> oh, you have your own droids? On Earth? Yeah. Several. Yeah, you fixed them too, right? Well, you know, I have a guy for that. Okay. Now, so if you think it is uh, a real name, you say what? You say, that's a horse, of course. Uh Uh-huh. And if it's not? Well, sir, that's a faux filly. Shouldn't you say, nay? It's a faux filly. 
you yeah. could do that. <laughs> that that I w- I'd accept that. I don't know about the judges, but yeah. I would. Are you taking the All Stars out on tour again this year, Ringo? <laughs> <laughs> it's very uh, profitable for us. Oh, uh, John Paul George, Brian Epstein's here. All right, so um, hopefully this will be the first and last time we ever play this game. Uh, let's go over to David, Rhode Island. How you doing, David? Good. Luke, are you ready to answer this question? <laughs> yeah. That's you. You're Luke now, I guess. <laughs> Remember to use the horse, Luke. Use the horse. <laughs> the name playing. of this horse is Fonzy Scheme. Fonzy Scheme. Fonzy Scheme. That's a horse, of course. Sorry, sorry. That's a uh, funzy scheme, not a real horse. That is a faux filly, Rob. <laughs> not a real horse. You have to be... A lot of these horses these days, they, they have fake names trying to get into the derby. You gotta watch out for them. I, always, I keep my lightsaber on my hip. Right. Gotcha. What color is your lightsaber, by the way? It is a blue. Blue. Uh, let's go over here to Kevin in Houston. Hey, buddy. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Luke, are you ready for everybody's the name be, of the horse? Everyone's going to be Luke. Mm. Yes. <laughs> the name of this stallion is Tabasco Cat. Tabasco Cat. That's a horse, of course. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. All right, big winner. You just big won winner. Star Trek First Contact by Alfred Woodard, great friend of mine. It's not by her, it's just sign. <laughs> she wrote the script or what? She just walked out, did a couple of lines and got paid. You know, much to her own embarrassment. You gotta get paid. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, didn't um, the real Obi-Wan hate Star Wars and hate anyone bringing it up to him? He couldn't stand it. He was like a fucking real actor. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things. You all know what I mean? All for the paycheck. Dollar dollar <laughs> make me holla. What did you say, Ringo? Dollar dollar make me holla and not the bread. Mm. Alright, let's uh, keep this going. Here's Justin. Justin, you got a, you know, basically a coin flip here. Uh, are you ready to play? Yes, sir. All right, Luke. The name of this horse is Fitz Caraldo. Fitz Caraldo. That's a horse, of course. No! Sorry. That's actually a name of a Werner Herzog movie, you <laughs> dumb piece of shit. <laughs> now, why are you so angry with him, Obi Wan? <laughs> just that it's hot in here. <laughs> You're our only hope. You know that, right? It's not the horses you're looking for. Actually, I didn't even know that was Obi-Wan Kenobi. I thought it was Ben Kenobi. <laughs> Just the old guy that no one knows. That's Ben is the only name that would stand out in the fucking <laughs> Star Wars universe. That's my government name. <laughs> this would be like if Charlie Manson got away and just started calling himself Bill Manson. <laughs> <laughs> no one would then know him. He still has the Jedi robes on. He's like, <laughs> what the fuck? He's hanging out with sand people. What a stupid fucking movie that is. <laughs> <laughs> hanging out with sand people. That wasn't by choice. Sounds racist to me. All right. Uh, here's uh, Buck. Buck from the movie Suck and Fuck with Chuck and Buck. Are you Fuck ready to Buck. play? Yes, I am. Luke, the name of this next horse is Thunder Gulch. Thunder Gulch. That's ours, of course. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Great acting. He killed Great it, acting. Dude. He has a plane. So you're looking for an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, I know a Ben Kenobi. We could drive over and ask him if he's heard of him. Maybe. I doubt it, though. Cousin, maybe? Yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> Kenobi must be like Smith yeah. in outer space. Sort of like uh, the character Pat Noriyuki in the movie Karate Kid. Oh, Ben Kenobi. Like, oh, B. 
Juan Kenobi. Weird. Yeah. OB. Putting this together here. <laughs> oh, you mean Ben, dude? <laughs> yes, he's, he's right around the key, right down the block there, the cul de sac. And what did uh, what did he do for money the whole time he was living there? I don't think I think he just was like uh, like he didn't have he was a hunter or something. He didn't do shit for money. What were you gonna eat? You know that was a deleted scene. I actually owned uh, a small aluminum siding business <laughs> for myself. Well, you you know. would have needed it with that fucking sand, right? You know, sand stuck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? Uh huh. <laughs> All right, one more to play. Uh, By the, the way, big, big game show. Yes, that last caller won a copy of Silent House, signed by Elizabeth Olsen. I Where, never even heard of this. Oh, it's a very scary picture, <laughs> much like my uh, ending battle with Darth Vader. It's kind of like anticlimactic, actually. Mm, yeah, it was bad. Slow. <laughs> Horses, nothing but horses. One has a fake name, the other is real. They'll race around a long track, but one could be lying. Just trust me on that. Choose between the real and fake horse names to pick out the frogs. But remember, may the horse be with you. Uh, yeah. We're playing May the Horse Be With You. We've got uh, one of the cartoon beetles uh, in here who told us to pick out one of the frogs. Did you tell us to pick out a frog? Yeah, one of the frogs. Right, frog. Yes, fraud, like frog. Like a liar. Yeah. Fraud. Right. It's with a D. Do they hop into ponds? Because <laughs> it sounds like frog. It's my accent, my space accent. <laughs> Um, Ed, in Connecticut, are you ready to play the America's least favorite game show? Uh, may the horse be with you. I am. All right, Luke from Connecticut. <laughs> Your horse. Hate him. <laughs> nudist Buddhist. Nudist Buddhist. Is that a horse, of course, or a faux filly? I'm going to say it's a faux filly. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. You think blowing up a giant fucking world-destroying fucking s spaceship? Hey, e easy. don't get cocky. Easy, fanboy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> Just relax. We're letting the force get the best of you. <laughs> Shouldn't it? Too now many you, mitochlorians. You gotta keep it even keel. And he just bought a copy of Source Code signed by the magnificent Jeffrey Wright. Oh, that's a great one. Fantastic. That's a great one. Fantastic picture. All right, in the first two minutes, you watch Star Wars, right? Yeah. And you're a fan. Yeah. All right, when the escape pod went out, right? With yeah. the two robots in it. Yeah. Why didn't the ship just shoot it? I think it was too small for the radar. It was like, it, it, just, it was fucking, they couldn't tell. So radar does not detect small things. I believe so. Okay. You know, they... Well, they said there's no life signs aboard. So they detected something. All right, so they must have just thought it was debris. So they were like, fuck that. We don't need it. We don't need to shoot debris. And we yeah. just built, you know, a giant Death Star. You don't want to waste money on ammunition. <laughs> it was an escape pod. Escape, meaning they're trying to escape us. We shoot them, and none of this bad shit happens to the Empire. <laughs> Empire just runs it. Tatooine gets blown up. I really wouldn't like you to talk about that. It's kind of a sore spot for me. You're not even from Tatooine. I had f college friends there. <laughs> what? You were hiding there. You didn't go to school there. <laughs> you really believe it's him, don't you? That You're sounds really caught like, up in this. Sounds like Ben to me.